starts at 7, 7 to 8. about the protests that were going on in Colorado? Okay, so people are protesting the stay-at-home order in Colorado. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes. And so the nurses at the local hospital have come outside to stand and block the traffic for people that are escaping the protests, that are getting in their cars to drive away. The nurses are standing there in the road. I, I mean... I don't like that they're away from patients, but I love that they're being uppity with people who are, thank you, refusing to, to, to take everyone's health and safety into their own hands. I saw a really great meme today. It's like, wait a minute. All the people that have been dockloading bullets and water for like the end of the world are now the ones bitching and whining that they want to go back out and do the thing. I mean, that's more eloquent than that. But I'm like, that's a really good point. All the people that have just lived for like the end of the world shit. I'm going to make my own food and jerky and shit. <laughs> are the ones like upset that they can't go to Walmart? Thirty seconds. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Bash On Live at the Black Hat Cabaret. How we doing? Welcome to Sunday, our last night of the week. I've got a couple really interesting things uh, to tell you about before we get into our amazing show tonight that I'm so excited about. Um, I have just been informed that the Metro bus has been canceled as of yesterday, so I'm a day late. Uh, not a big surprise. Um, they're providing community van service, so you can find out more about that on the Voice of Vash On website. So no Metro bus. So... Keep that in mind as, as you go and travel. Hopefully you're not traveling too much. Also, some amazing news tonight. We have a Venmo for Snapdragon. So I know a lot of you love this place. This is our community hub. So if you would like to donate to Snapdragon, we will be again filming here next week. So keep this Venmo close to you. It's Megan slash Hastings slash well, dash. Make that a dash. Megan dash Hastings dash 23. And that will also be in the comments. So you can donate there. Now... Let me tell you about the amazing act we have. I'm so excited. I will have to be leaving this stage and watching on my phone because that's part of our safety protocol. But I'm so excited about this. Tonight we have Stephanie Ann Johnson and Dan Tyak of the Tacoma-based High Dogs. So a lot of you I know know Dan from playing on the island, St. Ophelia and Greg Curry. You might know Stephanie Ann Johnson from a little award-winning uh, Emmy Award winning show called The Voice. She also, if you were at the Bernie rally in February, you would have seen her open up for Portugal and the Man. She's opened up for Mavis Staples, Black Joe Lewis, and Cedric Burnside. This is going to be an amazing night. Um, there's something else I have to tell you. Yes, also you can see them every Monday. So we don't have a show on Monday. So every Monday you can see them play from 7 to 8. There'll be more information in the comments about that, but it's at facebook.com forward slash music, S-A-J, just like the initials. And the Venmo and PayPal will also be there. So share the love, enjoy the show. Stephanie Ann Johnson and Dan Tyak.
tune is called 2 a.m. and um, it's off the our recent release it's called take this love oh, I love that song so much um, we were able to get that played on KEXP a couple times um, so you know call them and tell them that you want us that'd be great um, and thank you so so much to the snapdragon for having us out here in the black cat cafe for you oh yes all right I got my set list over here um, Let's do this song about flying cars. That's how I'm feeling right now. So this song uh, I wrote uh, uh, a couple of days after we had already all been quarantined for a while in Washington State. Um, so some sometime around the Ides of March. <laughs> uh, so this song's about a month old. And I was mad. I mean, this is my, you know, my fist shaking at the sky. Uh, this is the future, this is the future, this is the future we get, really. Ooh. Say goodbye to those plans 
Even when I get mad, it's still kind of like cutesy, which, <laughs> you know, is cool. Uh, there are worse things to be cutesy about. Um, <laughs> so, mm, okay, this one, because it's, um, cause it's, uh, it's topical. I did just touch my face, forgive me. Um, so this tune is called Talk to Me, and it's off of our record, and you can get it. Um, if you are buying the record, like, look, you know, get it, get it from Bandcamp if you want to, like, feel like the dollars that you're buying a thing with are coming to my pocket. Um, but, you know, if Spotify is more your business or Apple Music or anything like that, you know, do that. Give us a spin. Um, but when you do that, you know, tell, tell, like, three friends, and then I'll consider a square. Um, it's important when you tell people how to love you, they do it that way. <laughs> and this tune is called Talk to Me, and uh, that's what we're all doing on the phone and on Zoom and uh, on Facebook all day. So here we go. <laughs> what am I doing? Is that, is that there? There it is. <laughs> <laughs>
I really wanted that young man to call me. He didn't do it, though. It's okay. Can't win them all. Speaking of things you don't win. <laughs> all right, so I wrote this tune for a, a young human, a uh, very beautiful young human, and I wrote this song uh, last year about this time, last March, and I said to them, please keep in mind, I do this for money, and I've been doing it for about 20 years, so I'm very good at it, and I just want you to know, like, this isn't a marriage proposal or anything. It's a, it's a pretty song about a pretty lady, and she wanted do not listen to me. <laughs> were made, but let's move on. Uh. So. <laughs> oh, God. Oops. There it is. All right, I pulled up the lyrics. Um, so this tune, you know, is a, a traditional, um, but my favorite person who does this is a guy named Reverend Gary Davis, um, and the tune is called How Happy I Am. And I want to preface this. This is not about the false positivity culture of being, you know, being happy no matter what, um, being happy in the face of, of tragedy, real tragedy. This, especially this song, is about um, the, joy, the joy that we can find when we're looking for joy. Um, because the thing is, whatever you look for, you're gonna find. sin. 
little something that's mighty swell. Sweet little story I love to tell. Her Jesus saved my soul from hell. Glory, hallelujah. And when I could not understand, Jesus gave me a helping hand. He showed me the way to the promised land. Glory, hallelujah. Dan Tyak, one of my favorite humans in the whole wide world, he showed me like maybe also a year ago or last summer, we were going to Ashland and back to do some gigs and and he showed me that song and uh, it took me took me a whole year to feel courageous enough <laughs> to attack it. Um, so yeah, thank you for that song. I appreciate that. That was a great gift. All right, let's do, ooh, ooh, since we're talking about heaven and things that are happy. Let's stay with that. Uh, this tune is called Glory Land, and it's about those folk who we know in our lives who, you know, just being around them feels a little heavenly.
to play that song with you. I just love it. We were on the ferry coming over from Tacoma to Vashon, and I was ranting and raving in Dan's car saying, oh, I love this man. What am I going to do? My body feels weird. What should I do with myself? And Dan said, have you tried enjoying it? And I was mad because I didn't think of it first. <laughs> But, you know, I got that good song out of it. Because, um, you know, there's people that you be around where it just feels like, it just feels like roses. And you're like, there are no roses, but I feel them. All right. Um, <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Okay, well, like, 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 I don't want you to go to sleep. So let's do, let's do something up. <laughs>
Hans Hayek. Oh my goodness. I was like, look, if you can find one, it's better if you can find one on sale, but seriously. Get, like, find one. Find a Dan Tyak for yourself. <laughs> find that. Just the irreplaceable, irreplaceable friendship, my goodness. Mm, that song is really fun. <laughs> and if I'm very honest, if I'm very honest, we played Pride last year. We played Seattle Pride for the first time. It's really about the girl uh, over here to my, like, 2 o'clock. She was wearing bright orange shorts, and it was a beautiful, beautiful thing on a beautiful day. That's right. I encourage people to wear shorts. It's a blessing, if only for me. Um, that's right. I'm silly. That's right. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's play It Works. Play It Works with me if you would, yeah. Uh, yeah, so this song. So when I go and I do school shows, you know, because that's my other job. I work with young folk. struggles, uh, mainly with depression and anxiety, and feeling like I'm not good enough, you know, and I play this song for them, and I tell them, this was one of the songs that brought me back to life and woke me up, because there's an abundance of love in the world, we just have to be brave enough to accept the love that people are willing to give to us. 
Thank you for singing along, man. Thank you for having a good time with us. We really appreciate that about you. Um, Dan was saying to me right before we were getting ready to start playing that he could feel y'all wherever y'all are watching this, listening to this, experiencing this. So thank you for taking this time to be here with us. And, and those of you that are my friends that are sitting at home watching that know me personally that called me this week, thank you. Thank you so much for checking on me, for making sure that I'm okay. These are, these are shaky times, my goodness, shaky times. And I'm glad that if nothing else, we got each other. Mm. So I don't know if this song is about togetherness. It probably is. It's about my friend and his dog because they're so cute together. It's really annoying to me personally. Um, and I have to like fortify myself before I go to hang out because it's like, oh, the cuteness is going to be there. Take some deep breaths. It's real. Um, Fell's dog is named Louisiana, Wheezy for short. And she's just beautiful and cute. And she falls asleep on the floor during band practice. And that's how you know the music's good. The dog is relaxed about it. Um, and one of these days, we're going to stand in the state of Louisiana and we're going to play this song. People are going to be excited. And I'm really excited about that. <laughs> about dogs it makes sense the band is called the high dogs h-i-d-o-g-s like puppies on mountains or uh, uh, uh puppies in cute little astronaut suits <laughs> just think about it think about it 
<laughs> it's a good thought. <laughs> oh, all right, we got about 15 more minutes together. Played that one and that one and that one. Oh, we gotta play it Take This Love for sure. Um, is there anything else you feel like playing off the record? No? Whatever. Okay. So then let's do this tune. This tune is called The Highway. And I don't, I honestly, I don't think it made it onto the record, but we do have a recording of it. Um, the thing about this song is a song about running away from home. And, um, you know, running away from home is kind of a gendered thing uh, because young men are uh, uh, often encouraged to run away from home and try new things and sow their wild oats as it, as it may be. And young women are encouraged uh, to, to do different things, to do homecoming, so that we're at home doing home things. And I never really found my place at home, if I'm honest. Um, so this song is about all of the running away that seems to just be in my blood. I'm not doing it, um, but uh, go ahead and watch, uh, gonna say watch Frozen 2 on Disney Plus, just gonna say that.
they talk about going into the unknown. And I'm talking about it too. Leaving home, going to see about something else. All that good stuff. All righty. All right, so let's do the last song of the evening. This song, again, I was mad. Um, but as you'll see, my madness uh, gets real cutesy real quick. Um, I really wanted this one incredibly young man to look at me. And I was you know, being very entitled to all of his time and attention and saying, take this love, I already made it, it's here, take it. Um, and that's rude, you can't, can't treat people like that. I'm still single. Uh. <laughs> but but I, got a good, I got a good song out of the deal. And it's the title track on this record and I really hope that you enjoy it. Um, and if, even if you don't buy the record, if you're just watching and if you have nothing to donate but your attention, I, you know, from me, please hear me tell you, Thank you so much. Thank you for being here. It really does make all the difference. Um, thanks for making sure that I'm not alone doing this. And thanks for sharing this with your friends. I say that because I trust you to do that. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Uh, take this.
again, this is Stephanie Ann Johnson and my wonderful friend here, Dan Tayak, signing off. Thank you so, so much for being here with us. And tune in again next time. We'll see you soon. <laughs> Bye. Thank you, dear. <laughs> Please.